when I was working as a school teacher down in, in Somerset, um, no, I was, you, I was unknown and quite, it was quite nice actually. Um, you just sort of blend into the Somerset countryside and you're, you're, you're what's the word I'm looking for? Um, you're just another person down there, that's all. Again to Wood. A slobbed in the air, gentle. Anybody going for it? Oh, word, yes. A long delay there. So Robinson finally moving in, taking the catch, and Ellison now is taking the three wickets out of the four that are down. Well, the first thing was Bernard Thomas, the physio. I had a, I had a shocking cold when I arrived in, in Birmingham on the night before or the day before. And he suggested I wouldn't play, I shouldn't play. He, did, he didn't think I'd get through five days. Um, and I, saw, I didn't overrule him, I just said, I've come this far. Because I, I went to India the, 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 the winter before, and then I got injured at the start of the 85 season. And I got myself really fit, and I thought, I've done all this, I'm not gonna throw it away now. So I said, I'm gonna play. <laughs> and then the rest sort of just happened, really. Alison then to Border. Well, what about that? Border goes clean bowl by Ellison, 36 for five. I remember on the Saturday a ground sort of noise sort of carried you in when you were bowling. Um, obviously, you, you get peaks and troughs in terms of um, the volume, but I just remember that Saturday because so much was going on. Um, I just remember the noise. Both of me. And his goat. Caught at short leg by Edmonds. Bothams done it again. Any game, I didn't play that many times for England, so any game was an important game for me. Um, but to, to play a role and a part in something where the series was one, one, one all up until the fifth, and then there was a sixth test at, test at the Oval, um, but to play a part was really important. You know, I loved playing with Botham, he was my hero when I was at school. Um, there were other players there who I'd, I'd admired. I was relatively fresh into, into Test cricket. So, um, yeah, it's some, something everyone would dream of. And I could say I was fortunate enough to have an experience which, or some experiences which stay with you from a memory point of view for a long time. Oh dear me, you wouldn't believe it. Simply wouldn't believe it. Richard Ellison, the catcher. Two men out there waiting for the hook shot. Bowl the bouncer and hit it straight down his throat. The irony was, both of them got Hildrich out, Hilditch out hooking nine times out of ten, I think, throughout that series. Um, I just called for a sun hat because I was down at deep, deep backward square. And whether well, that would help me make the catch, I, I don't know. And sure as eggs are eggs, the next ball. T takes it on, comes straight to me, cool, and that, that was the start of um, what then happened in the next sort of eight overs or so. That's out. No need for the batsman to wait for the umpire. Flash outside the off stump. And Ellison strikes. Ellison to Holland, who's on the mark. And this LBW first ball. <laughs> so Ellison's on a hat trick, and the ploy of sending in the night watchman once again hasn't worked. 32 for three, Australia. You get an end open, anything can happen. An end was opened up, and um, and then I, as I say, I had um, my little moment in the sun, so to speak. And the reason it happened uh, is Richard Ellison, who very nearly didn't play in this match, and already has four wickets in the second innings. A terrific effort from him. Both of them took the first one, Hilditch, and then Ellison's figures, five overs, three maidens, four for two. What an astonishing performance that is.